Welcome back to my channel. You're watching Rare Craftsman, and I'll be showing you something slightly different today. This is it, ladies and gentlemen. Finally a video I wanted to do for you for a little while, where I'll be showing you my latest workshop layout and how do I create my YouTube videos. I've only got about 16 square meters to work with, hence I had to come up with quite a few creative solutions to fit all of my power tools in. Installing the bifold doors and extending my workbench allowed me to work with longer boards. One of my favorite tools I'm not using very often is my bandsaw so whenever it's not in use, it's being stored under my workbench. I'm not really using it as often as I should, but I'm keeping it because I'm pretty sure that it'll be very useful for my future projects. Right, let's move on to the elephant in the room, literally as it is extremely heavy, that's my pillar drill. Though I have to admit, it's irreplaceable and it's awesome. If you've seen my twisted LED lamp video, you probably know I wouldn't be able to finish it without that tool. I've always struggled with an insane amount of dust, so I've recently installed a very simple dust extraction system, which consists of dust collection unit and few plastic hoses. As the entire system is located outside, I've decided to purchase an Amazon remotely controlled sockets. If you know, you know, that is a dog hold table. Uh, something you might not know about me yet, I do like to work with vintage hand tools. A month ago, I had no planes at all, but somehow I've managed to become a proud owner of six of them now. Hey, I know, sanding is dreadful. So why not to build a down wrap table? I've built one myself, the link is in the description. Right, so the thing you all been waiting for, how do I record my videos? So I've used a couple of iPhones and a couple of Apple TVs. Uh, iPhone allows you to airplay stuff in real time, so you can actually stream your recording software onto the screen. It's cheap and cheerful, and it allows you to start your YouTube channel for next to nothing. If you're still watching, thank you. I hope you liked it. Um, it's the first video I've made the voiceover for, 
So if you have any feedback, please drop it in, your, in the comment section below.